G'day, and welcome back to the 40 channel. All right, so I noticed there was a small weeping of oil at the front of the div, right on your pinion shaft there. So we know that the seal must be compromised and is no good. New seal from Online Auto Parts. Quick clean up with some R1. This is gonna be a quick, easy, simple video of just how to change your diff pinion seal. We're not gonna go into a huge amount of detail of ripping your whole diff apart. I know there's a lot of guys out there that have a leaking seal and just wanna know how to do that quick and easy. Righto, let's get straight into it and make it happen. Right, so I've noticed there's a little bit of oil and it's weeping a little bit outside of the end of my pinion shaft. Remove the yoke and replace the seal. We're not going to get into anything else crazy. Right, the first thing I need to do is take note of where my nut is onto the end of this shaft here. Now we can measure between the end of the nut and the end of the shaft, which is probably going to be the best option. I'm just going to use some verniers. Use the rear end of the vernier so that we can get it back into the exact location that it is before. So we're not going to get too crazy. All we're going to do is just change the seal. We're not rebuilding the whole lot. It's just quick and simple. Right at. So all I'm going to do here, put that on the end of the nut, slide my verniers in, 1.8 millimeters. Right, next thing I need to do is try to bend this back up. Now I've just got a pin punch. We'll see if that's going to be adequate enough for what we need to do here. I think it is. Now let's try and see if we can... Now with your screwdriver you want to make sure that it has a shaft that goes all the way through so you don't damage it. Twenty seven mil socket. Put our nut off. Now to pull this off here, we've got a washer, which just done off. Right, you can see the back of it there, that's where our seal sits on it. We've got some weird hair stuff in there. What is that? Yummy. I just want to inspect this, make sure there's no wear or damage on here. Looks pretty good. It's excellent. Got our new seal from uh, Online Auto Parts. So there you go, there's our brand new seal. Now it looks a little bit different to the original seal. The biggest difference is this one has a nice big lip on here. Not only is it going to seal on the inside here, but that lip will also push right down onto this surface here. So just give it a really good seal, better seal than what we've got. There's a couple of different ways you can get the old seal out. One is you can just try to pry it out with a screwdriver, but the problem with that is you could damage other components. A lot of people do that. A lot of people just try to get a chisel and crush it down and pull it out. So I'm actually going to use the same technique I used on the old FJ40 build. Just use my slide hammer for the, uh, you know, pulling your dents out of your car. And all I did was weld on a nut. Weld the nut on the end of the moldy grips. Screw that onto my end of the slide hammer. Then all we're going to do is just drill two holes. Screw in some screws. Grab it on and just pull it straight off. All right, we're just going to use some uh, R1, which is excellent penetrating oil. We're just going to give it a bit of a squirt. Not too much. Just to sort of try to help get that out. 
I'm going to just do my slide hammer and multi grip setup. There we go. There's our old seal. So comparing the old seal minus the screws to the new seal, you can see this nice big rubber lip on here, including the seal on the inside. So that'll do a great job. Just want to make sure that surface is nice and clean, no burrs or anything like that in there. Now you can pull all this out, rebuild it or change all the bearings. We're not going to do that. All I'm doing is just changing the seal. I'm not getting too crazy on this one. Okay, with a new seal. It's gonna get oops. It's gonna get a very small amount of grease. And just give that a really light coating just around there. Not much, just the tiniest little bit. Just to sort of help it. Go in a bit. You want it almost translucent. We're, we're not putting much on at all. Okay, line up our new seal. A really, really light tap. That's just sitting there now. I've just grabbed the biggest socket I could find, which sits over that perfectly. And we're just going to tap it, tap it in place. Right, new seal's on. All I'm going to do now is just clean this up a little bit and reinstall it. Righto, so that's cleaned up really, really nicely. So I just dug all the dirt out. There was, there was a stack of dirt built up in there, but just cleaned it all up. The R1, it's sort of like a multi-purpose everything spray. It's like a miracle spray, actually. Spray it on everything, clean it up, lubricates. Righto, so all we're going to do now is, again, I'm just going to get some grease. Just rub it on that shaft. Again, very, very lightly, just to help that seal go right over. Just gonna rub a tiny bit on that rubber seal there as well. Righto, let's just slide this back on again. Push over that, that seal onto the spline. Right on our washer. Screw our nut back on. And we want to try to get it back in the same location as we had it before. Let's have a look where we're at. Looks pretty close. Right out now we've done it up pretty close to where we need to be. Just gonna torque it up. Right, I've just torqued that to 85 foot pound. Now we're just going to lock that locking tab down and we're done. Just with pin punch right there in the middle. Right, just having a look at the old seal here. If you look really carefully, right in this groove here, it's got some of that. all filled up with this 
and that looks like horse hair. Look at that. So whatever that is, it's damaged the seal. That was pressing on the inside of the seal. And I'd say that's why the seal wasn't doing its job anymore and was leaking. So a quick, easy fix. And we're done. Righto, so that's it. We didn't overcomplicate it. We didn't want to get too crazy because I know a lot of you guys out there just have a leaking seal and you don't want to go right ripping the diff apart and changing everything else, bearings, all that stuff. To be honest, I didn't want to get too involved in that. It all felt pretty good. It was just that the seal was leaking due to a build-up of look like horse hair, but I imagine it'd be rope. It looks like some type of rope has got up in there, an old fibre rope and twisted all up inside the yoke here, and then it's all got inside the seal and it's pushed the seal out. So the seal was no longer doing its job and we're leaking oil out of the front. So quick, easy fix, not over complicated. Anyone at home can do that. Right, so that's it for this episode. Another quick, short episode. I'm gonna to try to keep them short now. Again, thanks for your support. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you wanna keep up with what's going on with the old FJ fire truck, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourselves.